Hello everybody, I am Mighty Dragon and welcome to Within. They abandoned the god who had made them. They sacrificed unto demons whom they knew not. Blah 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 blah. I hadn't heard from my brother in over three months, which wasn't unusual. Okay. Nick tends to disappear for months at a time, not returning my calls, and then he surfaces again as if nothing had happened. I've gotten used to it. So I don't blame really him, considering the childhood we had. I've read somewhere that siblings with shared traumatic pasts tend to grow apart faster when they're adults. Ah, explains it all. Then, last night at around 3 a.m., he left a voice message. I heard it when I woke up a few hours later. My Don't okay. want you to worry, though. I'm in a spot of trouble, but nothing so? I can't handle. Sure thing. I'll figure it out. Yeah, we're not totally not going to go you after do. you, are we? Don't come looking for me. She will. I'll call you when things are right. He won't. I know I haven't said this enough, but I think you're a I bitch. Do love you. I was wrong. I always have. Goodbye, Maya. And then he was killed. <laughs> I must have called him dozens of times, but there was no answer. And then his phone was switched off. I took the next available flight out early next morning. Okay. I didn't sleep a wink on the plane. I kept thinking about what kind of trouble he might be in. As soon as I landed, I checked into a motel and then took a cab to the last address. This is so I had well for made. Him. In the pre dawn light, the city seemed to grow more decrepit the further in I went, so like good. a thing whose core was growing rotten. I don't know what kind of trouble he's in, but when we were growing up, after Ma died, it, game or a it was film? just the two of us, he'd come to me when he was in real deep and needed saving. And I would save him. Of course, but not this time. He died. I should get this over with quickly. I'll find him, make sure he's okay, then head back. I'm already missing a day at work. Okay. Let's see. He should be at apartment 405. 405, okay. Damn, this is impressive. Let me... I can't run. Yeah, his one's at the end of the hall, which we can't get to because of this in the way. Unless, of course, we're able to push it. We're not. We're going to have to go all the way around. Looks like there's a pipe busted up in there. It isn't a good idea to move this scaffold. It looks flimsy. I, I should just you. find another way around it. Told you. Jump scare. <laughs> you know, as if like... Hello? Goodbye. As if people were messing about with uh, their door handle or something. Huh. Where'd they go? There was someone just here. There was. Well, this is it. I should just ring the doorbell, see if he answers. Although, if he's been drinking, I don't have much hope. Ding dong. I guess he's either not home, or he's sleeping off a drunken binge, which would not be entirely surprising. Maybe I should just try to open the door and let myself in. Sure. Do you have a key? It's unlocked anyway. Oh gosh. Gosh, what is that smell? He shut himself. He's on heroin. Nick? Nick, are you here? At least the light works. Very tidy, very tidy. How is he living like this? This is terrible. It is. Leftover pizza, more pizza. Oh. Didn't know he kept this old picture of Ma. This was taken maybe a year before she died? before the cancer started turning her into skin and bones. Hmm. Wow. When Ma got sick, I wasn't expecting was it to go. I was 15. We watched her waste away and die from cancer. We never knew our father. 
No kid should have to lose both parents so early. We moved in with Aunt Sheba after that. She mostly left us alone, so I had to pretty much raise him. Or at least, I tried. I did the best I could, but hell, I was dealing with my own demons. You can't move. I guess Who's I made wondering? a pretty poor substitute for Ma. I can't move. What else is there? Doing those dialogue scenes. Do not open. Go back. So you put a note on your own door. Maybe it's not even him doing it. This is fine. That's not so fine. Right, well, there's no one in there. There's nothing in there. Can't open that. Interesting. Door handle. Look at that thing. Right, I'm going in. Nick, are you in there? Are you okay? Open this door. I guess I should find some other way to get it open. I have to go hunting for a key. Or a crowbar. I think I just lost my appetite. See anything? Why can't he get a bed like a normal person? Who knows? Maybe he's just going. He's Looks lost like his money. He's going literally living time. out of a suitcase at this point. He told me he was making money on a freelance web development gig. Was that all a lie? What's he doing with the money he gets? I'm guessing he's not doing that work after all. There's something going on here. I don't have a clue. Well, there you go. Looks like he's fallen off the wagon again. Oh, Nick. I sometimes think if he hadn't had that accident, if his best buddy Alex hadn't been killed, things might have turned out different for him. He was 16. Driving home from a party. Alex in the passenger seat. We're learning so much from... So much from the characters. There are so many cutscenes in this. It gives no us so much lore. This is amazing. Night. He was drunk out of his mind. Oh. Alex was killed on the spot. Nick survived, but he could Lanes never himself forgive for himself for Alex's death. With Ma gone, drinking and I was supposed to be the parent. Rein him in. I should have been tougher with him. I messed up there. I guess I neglected him when it mattered. That's on me. Well, you can't blame yourself for everything. Right, we can't leave the apartment. We're in here now. We're stuck. I don't... Would it hurt to clean up a little? Yeah, Nick. Hello? Nick, are you in there? Quit playing. Oh, fucking hell. Jeez. Hello? 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 How did this door open? Forty latch. Well, at least I know where all his money's going. But where the hell is he? This is interesting. Likes his music. Fucking hell, size of that. Likes his games. Where the hell is he? I like these posters. They are so well done. And like this entire game has been so well done. This is where you put your money, is it? I should check this computer. Maybe it'll give me some clue to what's going on with him. Okay. A USB drive? Let me see if I can find one. USB, okay. We need to find that. Where the hell would he Just put Just trash. It? I'm not digging through that. Could be the USB could be in there for all you know. I wonder if he still actually plays. He was obsessed with the guitar for a while in school, formed a band. They weren't all that good. Lasted all of six months. Okay, if anyone sees a USB, shout. Oh, there we go. This could be it. It probably is. Anything you got to say about this? He used to love these consoles growing up. 
He'd spend hours locked into those games. I guess it was an escape for him after Ma passed and we were living at Aunt Sheba's. The worst period of our lives. He was such a quiet kid back then. I love video games and like most of you watching, it's just an escape. It's nice. They're fun to play. Keep you busy. That is just a gigantic fucking box. Look at the size of that thing. Load up, Scotty! Okay, I'll play. I finally got it all set up. The Sandbox OS, a secure, heavily modded Linux variant running as a VPC. Virtual personal computer, I'm guessing. And the game contained within. This may be overkill, but it's better to be cautious considering the urban legend around this game. What is going on? A single file, a single EXE file, not very cleverly named, no instructions. To think it took me nearly six months to track it down on the dark web, of all places. The things I had to crawl through to find it, things I don't think I could ever unsee. I don't ever have much hope for humanity anyway. We're broken beyond redemption. I'll continue taking notes in these text files if the game is the real deal, I can later use them to expose a post documenting my journey for the r slash occult subreddit. Anyway, first things first, I have to get the game to work. It keeps crashing when I click it. The law says that it works at random, you just have to keep clicking. The code is probably corrupt. The stories about the game are fascinating, if not profoundly disturbing. For example, the guy who played it. And that's it, that's all the info. Let's see what happens. Clicked it once. It's loading. Mouse to look. Everything basic. Basic movement. Let's do it. Do it. We're inside a cursed game. We're playing a video game. Inside of a video game. I like these sorts of things, they are really interesting. Uh huh. Right, there's no fucking alien out there that drops in my head. Who's played on it? Who's played Alien Isolation? Oh gosh, darn it! This place doesn't look friendly. Doesn't look friendly. Oh, that's nice. Can I go? Can I get some lore on it? Maybe not lore. Is it speaking backwards? No idea. I'll try and I'll try and play it backwards and if I can, and see what it says. Its appetite for depravity knows no limits. Still have me here. The lust of mankind knows no depths. Woods, still talking to me. This is disturbing stuff. Not the sort of thing you would find in the uh the dark web and all that. Oh, hello. Hello. Which way do I want to go? I've got no idea. Oh. Right, with that being locked, we're going to have to go have a look around a bit more. Devon. I've been there. <laughs> if you start doing writing at funny angles and stuff, I can't read it. Like those really super heavy metal bands, you know, you've seen all the writing, I can't read those things, whatever it says, I can't make heads or tails out of it. I need you to open the other door. I heard a click, therefore must be open. Thank you. What is this shit on the floor? Just a load of rubble or is it some sort of entrails from someone's corpse? 
Now we have to play the next play log. Wait. To then play the game. That file wasn't there before. I'm sure of it. Where's log two? Got it to run. First impressions: a creepy, grainy, pixelated PS2 era style walking sim. The game's unstable. Crashed four times already. Good thing I sandboxed it. It's chewing up files and then randomly spitting them back. No credits. No title screen. No save. Load. It was hard to find. So many fake leads and BS. I would have given up sooner had I not believed there was some truth to the stories. I finally stumbled on the game almost by accident, following an, following an anon link to a file dump on an Onion server. Oh, I found it amidst cryptically named zip archives, many of them full of unspeakable images. The myth of the game, which I Pieced together, sifting through volumes of shit posts for bits of truth, suggests that only one copy can exist at a time, and that it allows itself to be found by those whom it selects. There are stories that it was not created by human hands, that it was birthed whole in the filth of the dark web, a digital well, a digital abomination conceived and formed in the womb of humanity's most depraved impulses. This is deep. As I spend hours digging into this, the old compulsions are inexorably returning. Dark thoughts, guilt, a desperate craving for alcohol. It's impossible to resist. The symbol in the graffiti are... The symbols in the graffiti are pre-Sumerian suggesting an ancient entity, possibly a greater demon. Perhaps, perhaps most disturbing of all is the notion that it can, I'm guessing, take control of you through the game itself and drag you in. And that's where the brother is. That's the person we saw. I thought so. That's the person we saw would be the brother. And we're here again. Oh, get stuck. Right, now we can go to the door that was... Oh, that's closed off now. Go to this door. Still can't run. It is a game of immersion. Oh. They look like eyes. Probably not. No, it's torches. Can I get around? Yeah, get around. Hi there. It's around the north yard of the Baxter. It's appetite for depravity. Here they are. What are we here for? What the hell is this? Yeah, what the hell is going on? I think it's the developers. Nick. System failure, restart required. I'm pretty sure that was Nick's photo in there. But that makes no sense. Yeah. I've got to get this game going again. Restart the computer. Ah! Jeez, that scared me. <laughs> Just the lights. No, there's more. The electrics here are falling apart, like the rest of the building. No, there's far more to it than the lights. Can I adjust the thermostat? Will that piss someone off? No, can't adjust it. Right, we're back on. We're on five. Two and four are missing. So for some reason, this thing doesn't like. Doesn't like even numbers. Getting worse, growing signs of malevolence, waking nightmares, oppressive thoughts, general malaise, an intense craving for self defilement, weird sounds from the other rooms, voices, footsteps, shifting shadows. An hour ago, the webcam turned on by itself and took a picture. I was able to identify the entity from the symbols in the graffiti. Bail Nagin a.k.a. the ill spirit of guilt and grief. Here's the entity from Deakin, perhaps the only demonology wiki with some authenticity. 
a greater demon from pre-biblical times, first worshipped by the Langani? Lagani? Someone. Sect in then sect in then Sumeria. Requires human sacrifice. Also. Feeds on fatalism, guilt and grief. Manifests in the reoccurring nightmares of killers. In the lust regret cycles of serial sex offenders in the dying in the dying fugi I can't read today of dead men walking. In the guilt borne by family members of suicide victims in the PTSD of war survivors in the haunting dread of good people gone irre irrevi that word wrong a vile parasitical being that consumes those who it selects. The simplicity of the game is almost certainly deliberate. The pattern of the symbols, the piles of refuse and filth, filth, the writings on the scrolls, all of it suggests an invocation ritual. Have I made a terrible mistake? Yes. What am I? What am I awakening in the de in the dark? Oh fuck's sake! What am I awakening in the deep dark? The game is trying to. I'm guessing. Take over your mind. Bring you into the game. All that stuff. Start it again. So yeah, every night. Like quite a lot of us, I do have difficulty reading a few odd words here and there. Apart from stuttering, I usually would cut that out, but Maya. Oh, now we can hear voices. And I see a person. I'll follow the person, why not? I don't want to go to Devon. Stop telling me to go to Devon. But yeah, I usually cut that sort of stuff out, but I figured today I'm not going to bother. I'll just keep all my issues. There we go. One out of four, that looks nice. I like the artwork, this is fantastic. Thank you. Thanks for that. Right, once we walk around, a little bit of lore for you all. My kids pretty much all have autism. And it's from seeing them and how they go about their days and stuff they say and do has led me to also run. Let's pick up this paper first. Oh, that's nice art. I approve of that. Um, uh, has led me to uh, look inwards and notice that I have a lot of the same symptoms for autism slash AD. I like that. For autism slash ADHD. Mostly I'm on the ADHD ladder, spectrum, whatever you want to call it. Another face? Yes, it is. But I'm not the hyper uh, type like Jacksepticeye and uh, Markiplier, I'm not on that side of it, I'm on the other side. Mate, I'm looking for the paper, where's the paper? Thank you, it must be through here. At some point in the future, I would like to be tested for it. My... Help me. Please. No. You have to help me. No, I fucking don't. Nick? I'm scared, my... It's awful here. Please help me. I don't want to. God. That almost got me. That was Nick's voice. I'm sure of it. Yeah, it's a little bit distorted. I'm gonna get mate. this PC going again. Yeah, let's do it again. Is he on the floor? No, he's not. <sighs> Hello? Is someone there? No. Not really. Yes, I know. Let me start it later. I need to check if there's someone in here with me. Uh, yes, yeah, so for me, I'm kind of ADHD. It's too dark in here. I should get the lights on. Well, the light is on, mate. That one's always on, is it? Okay. <sighs> Privacy, they want a shower. Yeah, so I'm not hyper and anything, anything like that, but I do have moments where a lot of my stuff is ADHD related. Is he behind me? But that's impossible. <gasps> no, he's not. Pool, awesome. I love it. Nick, 
But his face... What is happening to me? You're slowly losing your mind, my dear. Can I shut the door now? No, can't shut the door. It's alright, calm down. We should just leave the flat. We should really just leave, walk away. I'd love to know if anyone else out there has I uh, has got ADHD or also ooh, another one. There's a bit of a gap. Took up from five to twelve. If anyone's watching this and you've got ADHD or autism and you're waiting for an assessment and you believe you've got it, or if you know you've got it, I'd love to know. I saw Alex today. He was here, in the apartment, standing by the far wall. He looked the same as he did when I saw him all those years ago, on the gurney in a morgue, the day after the accident. Deep! His dead body cold, his face split open, his eyes wide. Despite his horrific wounds and the odd angle of his neck, I can imagine, he was somehow still alive. He called out to me. He was grinning, but I saw the hatred in his dead eyes. I survived the accident, even though I was the one drunk and driving. He wanted me to follow him. I begged for forgiveness, but I know it's too late for that. There can be no redemption for a man like me. I must go after him. I have no choice. First, I have to call Maya. I have to warn her. Tell her to stay put and not come looking for me. Because I know Maya. She'll look for me if she doesn't hear from me for too long. She still feels responsible for me even though... She still feels responsible for me even after all these years. Still blames herself for my failures even though she shouldn't. If only she knew that she's the last good thing left in my life. The reason I'm alive is because she saved me a million times already. But she can't save me this time. Not from this. And I can't let her get her. If she comes here. Another lot of numbers. Dang! Going back into the game. Alright, no I'm not. I'm going back into the game. No I'm not. Try again. It did say. Try it multiple times. Fuck! Load you bastard. Yeah! That's what I had to say. This game has been pretty cool. I've enjoyed it. Very mysterious and eerie and it's just... It is neat. Hello? Oh, more paper. That's right, I was looking for paper, weren't I, earlier? That's number three out of four. As it says. And now that's open. Such a weird game. But it's bloody good. Bloody good. And now we've got the last piece. Then what happens? You know, the developer of you watching this, I really approve of the art. It is so nice. Very Evil Dead esque. And I approve. I love Evil Dead. It's such a good film. Second one was alright. Third one was really funny. Who are you? Okay. Do you have any cheese? Maybe some milk. Ah, fuck it. You know, goat's cheese, goat milk. What the hell was that? I don't... <gasps> Nick! Wait! Wait! Nick! Nick! I'm coming back. I'm not coming back. I'm going after you. You know what I mean. Come back. That's what I wanted to say. Nick! Nick! Nick, open the door. Oh, that's still there. There's no run. Still no run button. Great! Nick! I don't think that was my tummy. Nick! That's... Nick, stop! It's me! Not really Nick. This is so eerie as hell. And I'm loving every second of it. I don't want to fall... <gasps> I was saying, I don't want to fall down an elevator shaft, but I saw it coming at the start of the game. 
seeing it open like that, I kind of had a funny feeling. Don't mind that might happen. Are we going to look down? Are we going to get pushed? I'm not going near that elevator. What the hell was that? Smart girl. Okay, which way would I go? Well, it looks like we have to go down. Those steps kept going, even though I stopped moving, they were still going. My Hi. I'm down here. Sure you are, Nick. Come quick. Oh my gosh, it's the goat man. I don't feel like I should. I'll keep going. I don't really want to. I kind of want to go home. It's a long way down. There's a lot of glare on my screen. I can't see much right now. I hope you can see stuff, because I can see fucking nothing at the minute. I'm waiting for you, Maya. That doesn't sound Where right. Where are you? We're all waiting. What do you mean, all waiting? Who is all? He went alone. He was waiting for me. You can't save me, Maya. Oh, okay. You never could. Nah. Uh, even when we were growing up, you couldn't even protect me from myself. The accident. Alex's death. My miserable life. All of it could have been different. You're blaming if me for it all now. Done what you were supposed to do. You can't blame me for everything that's gone wrong in your life. Sunshine. Who are you? What have you done to my brother? Good evening. Can I move? No. Oh, we're back here. Oh, wait. We're inside the game now. Sometime later, I found myself back in the apartment. Or not. I couldn't remember how I got there. There was no sign of Nick, or the thing that had looked like him. And his computer would no longer turn on. Hmm. I did the only thing I could. I filed a missing person report and flew home. It's been six months since then. I've tried every possible way to locate him, but there's been no word from him. He's in the game. I keep thinking about the thing I saw at the bottom of those stairs. The, game. the thing from inside the game. When it came at me, just before its awful malevolence could engulf me, something or someone stepped between us and shielded me. Really? I think that's how I got away. I think... I think it was Nick who saved me. Shit! That was fantastic. Oh my bloody goodness! From start to finish! That was insane and very intense. Eerie as hell. I didn't know what the hell to expect going into this, and I didn't expect that. I love the addition of the little cutscenes that were here and there just dotted around. That added so much. It really felt like it was a film more than a game and I loved that. The art style inside the game, I liked the artwork. I really did. I like those pages. I thought they were well done. The posters in the room, really well done. Everything in this game was really well done. And I'm really glad I took the time to play this game. I'd like to know your thoughts in the comments below. If you want to see some more horror stuff, check out that card for Star Wars Death Troopers. You don't want to miss it. If you're new here, please consider subscribing to the channel, smash like and hit that bell before whenever I bring out a new video. Thanks for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.